द मिराकुलस जर्नी ऑफ एडवर्ड टू लेन चैप्टर ट्वेल्व एडवर्ड डिड नॉट हैव मच टाइम टू सेवर द लाइट फॉर द डॉक सडनली अपियर्ड अबव हिम डार्क एंड शेगी ब्लॉकिंग हिज व्यू एडवर्ड वॉज पुल्ड आउट ऑफ द गार्बेज बाई हिज इयर्स ड्रॉप्ड and then picked up again this time around the middle and shaken back and forth with a great deal of ferocity the little dog growled deep in its throat and then dropped adward again and looked him in the eye adward stared back hey get out here you dog it was anas king of garbages and therefore king of the world the dog grabbed adward by his pink dress and took off running that's mine that's mine all garbages is mine anas shouted you come back here but the little dog did not stop the sun was shining and edward felt exhilarated who having known him before would have thought that he could be so happy now crusted over the garbage wearing a dress held in the slobbery mouth of a dog and being chased by a madman but he was happy The dog ran and ran until they reached a railroad track. They crossed over the tracks and there underneath a scraggly tree in a circle of bushes Edward was dropped in front of a large pair of feet. The dog began to bark. Edward looked up and saw that the feet were attached to an enormous man with a long dark beard. "What's this, Lucy?" said the man. He bent and picked up Edward. He held him firmly around the middle. "Lucy," said the man, "I know how much you enjoy rabbit pie." Lucy barked. Yes, yes, I know. Rabbit pie is a true delight, one of the pleasures of our existence. Lucy let out a hopeful yip. And what we have here? What you have so graciously delivered to me is definitely a rabbit but the best chef in the world would be hard pressed to make him into a pie lucy growled uh, this rabbit is made of china girl the man held edward closer to him they looked each other in the eyes you are made of china aren't you melanie He gave Edward a playful shake. You are some child's toy. Am I right? And you have been separated somehow from the child who loves you. Edward felt again the sharp pain in his chest. He thought of Abilene. He saw the path leading up to the house on Egypt Street he saw the dusk descending and Abilene running towards him yes Abilene had loved him so melanie said the man <clears throat> he cleared his throat you are lost ah uh, that is my guess Lucy and I are lost too. At the sound of her name, Lucy let out another yip. 
Perhaps, said the man, you would like to be lost with us? I have found it much more agreeable to be lost in the company of others. My name is Bull. Lucy, as you may have surmised, is my dog. Would you care to join us? Bull waited for a moment, staring at Edward, and then with his hands still firmly around Edward's waist, the man reached one enormous finger up and touched Edward's head from behind. He pushed it so it looked as if Edward were nodding his head in agreement. Look, Lucy, he is saying yes, said Bull. Melanie has agreed to travel with us. Isn't that swell? Lucy danced around Bull's feet, wagging her tail and barking. And so it was that Edward took to the road with a hobo and his dog.